guys want to lie off this? Yeah. If they already... Can you introduce yourself by spelling your first and last name? You good? First name's Greg, G-R-E-G, -E last name Barta, B-A-R-T-A. -A. Now, uh, can you begin with the time of the call and tell me why the fire department was out here? So at approximately 9.07, we received a call from one individual that there was potentially smoke in the area of Culver. Now, we dispatched a unit, and while they were just pulling on scene, we started getting multiple reports, and that initial unit found heavy smoke. They upgraded this to a structure fire response, and that began uh, what we have right here, which is firefighting that's still active at this time. And then talk to me about that response, the, you know, the number of firefighters, second alarm fire. Yeah, so we're at a two alarm fire now, which is roughly 60 firefighters. When we arrived on scene, we found a two-story commercial building with heavy smoke and fire in it. So one of the challenges we faced on this one is the building set back quite a ways from the street. So our firefighters had to put an extensive amount of hose on the ground in rapid time to get after this fire. So they did a tremendous job doing that um, and holding it in check as well as they did. And can you talk to me about the building, the facility here that, that they were that, that burned? Yeah, so it's a two-story commercial building. Um, there was uh, some access issues uh, getting to the second story. Our firefighters did a tremendous job overcoming those difficulties, getting hose in place rapidly and getting after this fire. And I'm pleased to report we do have a knockdown now on the fire. And uh, no injuries? At this time, no injuries to firefighters or civilians. And uh, some damage to the building and investigation underway? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely damage to the building. Uh, investigators are already on scene. They're some of the best in the business. I've already seen them walking around, combing through the scene. Uh, they'll be here for an extended amount of time investigating. And uh, can you just talk to me about the, uh, the amount of fire engines and trucks on scene and the street closure here? Yeah, so we had to close down the streets because there was a significant amount of traffic coming through as our firefighters were trying to work. And as I said, this was kind of a chaotic scene in that we had cars rushing by and we had to get a lot of hose on the ground to access this building, which was a good two or 300 feet away, just to even get to the building, let alone getting inside the building. Two alarms of uh, firefighters, which is roughly 60 firefighters uh, on scene and approximately 10 to 12 uh, firefighting apparatus. Perfect, thank you so much. Anything else you wanna add? No, you know what, the 4th of July weekend is coming up. Uh, I know it's time that everybody's looking forward to partying and celebrating and getting together, which we haven't been able to do in a while which please do enjoy that, but do it safely. There are a lot of risks associated with the holiday. You could cause fires. There are dangers with drinking and driving, obviously, so just please be safe out there. Thank you so much.